fun of that NFO check. And they particularly made fun of the one we didn't get on Iowa Trust. But today at home, that PCA manager is one of the biggest supporters for NFO's grain program. Because he sees, he watches people in the program paying off their notes ahead, and bankers kind of love that. Okay, now we're moving into, and we will ask you all to stop into the VIP room here during convention. The vo volume incentive program is exactly what it says it is. It's an incentive for us to move all of our volume and to involve every neighbor we have to move all their volume through collective bargaining. We want volume, don't we? I mean, isn't that what this has always been all about? Had to have, have, to have the volume. And we want every member to 100%. It's what Devon's always talked about, whether you're committed or you're just a participator. You had breakfast this morning, you've had ham and eggs. The chicken participated in your breakfast, but the hog was committed, right? <laughs> okay, are we either going to commit ourselves? <laughs> are we going to commit ourselves? Or are we going to be just participators? And there's nothing more detrimental for the non-member to talk to you and you say, yeah, I'm a member of the National Farmers, but I don't ship with them. And when some of the counties started terminating the non-shipping members, asking them to terminate, the people that were most impressed were the non-members. They said, you know, you're finally getting serious. You're finally getting serious. So 100%, we want ourselves at 100%. But we also knew, very practically speaking, that the marketing expense was often, often standing in way of a person per participating at 100%. So the volume incentive program is designed so that your smart or, uh, bargaining charges per bushel decrease with the more volume you individually ship. And there's a savings at every level, whether you're a 5,000 bushel marketer or a 500,000 bushel marketer. Plus. We've added some service features under the VIP program. We all like to be VIPs, so I know you've seen some of the VIP buttons around. I would hope that if you're a grain grower, by the time you leave this convention, you're wearing one of those VIP buttons and have committed yourself to the volume incentive program. The reduced fees under VIP program will enhance everyone's position in our bargaining pattern and in our marketing approach. So the VIP program, keep in mind it's room 106, and we've got the states marked by tables of where you go to sign up and get explanation of the program, get the details of the VIP program. The VIP program will allow you to continue to support the grain department even when you may not want to be moving grain. Now, growers do not move grain for two reasons. One is that the market's too low. It's below the danger level. In other words, if the market's so low that if you move the grain, you and the banker are both in trouble, right? You've, taught, you've, you've borrowed $3 on every bushel of corn in, in the 12,000 bushel bins you've got, but none of the bins, of course, hold more than 10. So you fudged on that one. He lent you $3 a bushel, and the market isn't worth that. So if you move the grain, you're really in trouble. So you take out a government loan and try to get by short term. Well, when you, when you do that, of course, we have nothing to work with in terms of bargaining, and you've just dropped your support for the day-to-day -day operation for the grain department. So the VIP program permits you, when grain is too low, to support the continuing development of the grain program or when grain is too high. And let's be honest about it. Until we have enough growers committed for bargainers' discretion when grain gets too high, you won't move grain either. And that's human nature. The biggest excuse is you've got to pay too much income tax. Once you stabilize a cost of production plus a reasonable profit, you no longer worry about taxes. I have never read once in my life about the Rockefellers worrying about taxes or the Hunts worrying about taxes. They've got profits every year. They know how to handle it. So the VIP, all the questions about the VIP program will be answered individually for your next door. And at this point, I'll conclude this workshop and ask if you have any questions in general. Uh, if it's a particular contract question, of course, we can't answer that here, although at the information booth out there, they might be able to help you. Any general questions that you have about your area or about any part of the program that we might answer for you today? If not, you all look like you need coffee as bad as I do.